Well, look, you guys, hello, Elizabeth Tim here, and I got the video for you. It's been my long time since I, uh, you know, made a video. I hope you forgive me. Uh, Honestly, with finals and everything, it's been a hectic two weeks and all that fun stuff, you know? So today here on my channel, I'm going to be talking about... You know, my makeup I just recently bought because I'm super stoked about it, yeah. But yes, and so... Here it goes for whatsoever Wednesday. Yay! Just ordered them online recently from BH Cosmetics. I'll leave a link below. Great makeup, bright and vibrant, and they're phenomenal. I bought the... The first edition, the third edition, and I bought the 88 color palette, the neutral eyeshadows. This is what the boxing looks like, but this is what the box looks like for the first edition. Here are all the colors on the back of what's in the box. These colors are amazing. I've been looking for like a matted palette for a long time, and this kind of like gives you a little bit both, but it's not too much shimmer. But then there's a lot of matted palettes, and I adore it, like honestly. This whole purchase with all three of these were $40.40 .40 until a sale online. I'll, I don't know if the sale is still going on, but yeah. Here is the third edition of the 120 color palette. There's no pictures on the back showing the color, but I'm going to go and show you that anyway later in the video. And here is the 88 color neutral eyeshadow palette. Bazing! There's no pictures on it. Except for like a check thing box, I guess like it wants me to collect them all. Gotta catch them on. Gotta catch them on. Makeup on. So let's get started. Here's the actual palette in itself, in the flesh. I will open it for you. When you open it, you will get a mirror, which is decently sized. Two sponge things, but I don't use them, so not my problem. Here are all the colors that are in the side of the makeup palette. They go on very smoothly, they come off easily, and they also apply very easily, if you know what I mean. I probably am talking in a terrible British accent. I'm from New Jersey, so that's my excuse. But they have a lot of good colors. They have some, you know, the, the blacks and the grays. They got some green. They got some purples. You know, all that good shit. Ow! Next palette. So next, I'm gonna be showing you the 120 color power eyeshadow, the first edition. It's very thick, good casing. You know, has the ingredients on the back. They look pretty good to me. <laughs> it kind of shocks me too because it also has a how to apply instructions. I didn't know how, excuse my language, I didn't know people need directions how to apply makeup. I mean like I get tutorials on like how to do a, uh, like makeup but it literally has step by step <laughs> how to apply makeup. How to apply first. Prep your eyelids with our eye and lip primer or correcting eye primer. Two, take your favorite eyeshadow brush and sweep over eyeshadow shade of choice. So many choices. Ah! And third, mix and blend. Have fun with 120 colors. The possibilities are endless. Can't get any more legit than that, I say. So let's get in, shall we? So it comes in a double tray, of course. The second tray is underneath. But comes in the mirror. No sponge brushes. Not a big deal. I got brushes anyway. Comes with a film. I keep the film so, God forbid, if something breaks, it will keep all together and doesn't explode. But I will show you the first tray. This is the top tray. Very vibrant colors as you can see and you've sun them, them already. I like on the side how it has like kind of like little speckles on the inside kind of like to mix the colors more or less. But yeah, this palette is phenomenal. Goes on smooth. Comes off easily. I'm happy with it. The second, which can be removed, by the way, so you could just have a tray alone, so you could kind of mix match them all. Goodness. Well, this was a, oh, Jesus. This was a first for me. 
I guess I'll glue that back in later. That's unfortunate. Well, anyway, gently holding this so it doesn't fall out. Here is the second palette, Works Wonders. It has more of dull colors, but it has more purples and pinks on this one. A couple more blues and stuff, but it also has like all whites and grays on this palette, which is really great. And some earth tones at the bottom, which are really great. I'm happy with it. Back in you go with your films, your films protect you because I love you because I love makeup yeah yeah mm -mm -mm. this is what I do when I do my things and it's so dirty girl this is so dirty oh my god I can't even like let me tell you so let's go back to our third edition 120 color palette eyeshadow shall we same again with the first edition beige cosmetics provides you with instructions on the back for you guys who are can't put on makeup or, you know, figure it out, you know, fucking Google. So yeah, here's the casing, same as the first edition. Once again, mirror has like film coverings and shit. So let's get in this one. The reason why I chose the third one versus like the second or the fourth or the fifth one is because I like how, sorry I was fixing the mascara. I like how neutral they kind of are, but they're very vibrant colors still. Um, You'll see in just a few. Once again, moving the film. Move the film color. That shit. So as you can see, here is it. It's kind of more neutral, more like pastel-y, where the other ones are more vibrant and everything. That's kind of why I went with it. The only one that's probably really bright are like these two here. This screen is actually like, beautiful. I have not played with the third edition yet too much. I played more with the, the first edition because I've been interested in the more vibrant colors. I mean, these are vibrant as well. What the heck are you doing, screen? Come on, wake up. Thank you. But yeah, basically, I haven't really played with this too much, like some colors I have. So I'm going to have to get, you know, jump on that shit. <laughs> Remove the film cover. Here is the undercover, which is my favorite favorite you can see is very like extremely different from the other two other three I've shown you very earth tones very subtle I think they're honestly beautiful I love the blues in here the greens the purples oh my goodness they're gorgeous and like the pinks and pastel colors like and the best part is they are matted and that's what I like about a lot of them but there are also some shimmer ones here like in there which is always good too. But yes, I like the first edition versus the third edition it, for different reasons. And that's why I specifically bought the first and the third. Gotta apply the film, you know. Protect them bitches. Right before you tap it. But yes, here is my lovely purchase of all three. I actually plan on definitely buying more palettes from BH Cosmetics. Great. It was shipped very fast. I ordered it whatever day it came within like maybe five or four days super fast the packaging was phenomenal so it wouldn't break they wrapped it multiple times to where it was actually very difficult to get out of the box but that was the best part because then i knew they were in safe and they weren't gonna break so that was awesome but at some point you will probably see me doing a tutorial on makeup because i'm very happy about this palette and i definitely want to do more vibrant looks for you guys because you know It'll be a first for me. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching my channel and or my videos. If you like the video, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. Tell me what kind of tutorials you would like me to do below with the cosmetic palettes. You know, hit me up, girl. You know. Alright, well, thank you for watching, you guys, and thanks for always just watching, and I will see you next time, whenever that will be, considering of everything that's been going on, so I apologize for that again. Hopefully things lighten up, um, but I definitely got some news to break to you guys. I will be transferring to a college, so... I will have to see with the videos, like every Monday through Friday kind of thing. I may kind of just do them sporadically, more or less, but not consistently. Like, as you see, like this week it was not consistent 
whatsoever. But this summer I will be making videos, but after when the fall comes rolling around, I'm definitely probably going to be having to cut back on videos. I will try my best ability of posting a video once in a while, just so you guys know I'm alive. I'm just fair warning you, you know, because just in case if I like, you know, because I don't want to disappoint you guys, but unfortunately school does come first and... I love you guys, but my education is very important to me, and the sooner I get it done, the sooner I can do more videos! Yay! Okay, thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day, and I will see you next time, whenever that will be. Toodles!